Hi guys, I just made this little electric boat from a foil takeaway container and to power it I used a nasal hair removal kit. So there'll be a link in the video description to the build for that one. I bent the front of it around so it was a bit more boat shaped. What I want to do now is use this children's toothbrush and see if we can get another boat to move forwards just using the vibration from this because this has got an electric motor in it with an offset weight on it that makes it vibrate. And I want to see if I can just put it in the boat, Let's see if we can get it out. It appears to be a, <laughs> a way of getting it out. There we go. So, electric toothbrush, take the top off because we don't need that. Pick up the battery that fell on the floor because it's supplied with a battery, which is handy. Pull the bottom off, the uh, battery goes in there, that goes back on there, and then... So I want to know if I can put that in there. So it's going to vibrate. And put some flippers just, um, I think, cut this up into strips and put a couple of, couple of strips on the back here and see if the vibration of this will be enough to make those flippers drive the boat forwards. So, hot glue gun. Cut a couple of strips off here. So look. Don't know if they'll be too flexible, but there is one way to find out. I've done something like this in the past. And the problem is getting exactly the right length so the vibration of the motor is the right frequency for the flippers to work. So I'll start off with a reasonable length and then we might have to trim them until we get the harmonic frequency, I guess it is. But that's all I'm going to do, just, uh, I'll just hot glue that straight in there to hold it still. And oh, we need enough room to be able to get our finger there to switch it on. Yeah, I'll just hot glue that in place and hot glue these underneath like that somehow. I cut the available bit of plastic into three pieces. So we've got three paddles or whatever we want to call them, flappers. So what I'm hoping will happen is they'll get a bit of flex in them. And the combined effect will drive the boat forwards or backwards. I don't care which way it goes. I just want to see if it makes it move. So we'll Put a glue on that. There's probably an ultimate position for that to be, whether it needs to be near the back or near the front. The motor itself is around about here somewhere. It may even pay to cut that bit off the back so we can move it right to the back. 
Don't know. I'll try it right in the middle first. We want to try and put it in there without pushing it. We don't want to give a false impression. But I'm hoping it will drive itself that direction. Well, if anything was happening, it was going the opposite way, wasn't it? It was going that way. Hmm. It was moving, wasn't it? Because if I just put it in there, it doesn't move. So, question is, do I try trimming these, or do I try moving the position of this? I'm thinking I might move this one way or the other. Right, I've turned it around. It's not exactly shooting up the bath or sink, and if anything, it's still going that way. Yeah, quite definitely. I don't expect the camera will pick it up, but we can actually see these are vibrating. And it is definitely driving it in that direction. So I'm not going to claim this as a complete failure. It clearly is making the boat move just the opposite way to the way I expected it to. Yeah, it is moving. just the wrong way. <laughs> I expect if I fast forward the video it will be much clearer what's going on. The only explanation I can come up with in my mind at this moment is it's a bit like air pressure. The vibration at that end is if it was air pressure it would be easy to understand it's reducing the pressure there so the water flow is going towards the reduced pr pressure I think what I'll do is I'll title this video how does this work and see how many 
um, theories we get. Here's a thought. I've just cut those flippers off and it's tending to go round in a circle. So could it be something to do with gyroscopic progression? Well, that's what we've got. I've no idea why it works. I can think of reasons, but I can't honestly say it's this or that. So let's see what the feedback says. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.